care for any books for away, you hear me? The ladies a vamp. She'll be there and I want no part of that. A vamp? Darling, as soon as everyone has a touch of that giggle water, we'll all be a kind of vamp. <laughs> Applesauce. No, sir, we're not getting canned. Not that much. Aw, oh, Millie. I always thought she was a canceled stamp. I seen her at Conroy's pub from time to time, sitting quietly, like, no fuss. Leo, please, know your idea. If so shy, you think she'd wait for the fancy glass in the pub so often? Honestly, I think she could very well be a charity girl. Uh, needn't worry. I'll keep my distance between Vivian and I. I'll show her the minute. <laughs> you think that would stop her? I think not. Well, you'd best keep me close by. <laughs> So tell me, Leonard, where are we again? It looks familiar, but not so. Curdling Woods. I never cared for that name. So vile. It was 74 years ago, and they couldn't think of anything better than that Indian massacre. It's catchy. No, sweetheart, you won't recognize this. They cleared way for the railroad. But I hear there's a dispute. Of what? Folks could use a steam engine in these parts. Just up the way. Make way? The loony bin. You hear that? It's in the works now. But soon, this will be our last chance walking these woods. We couldn't use your brother's wagon? No. His bucket is a hay burner. Cheaters, can you make out who that could be? No, they're so far. Why are dark rags? Hey, maybe they're on their way to the party, too. Wait. Hello, you on your way to the Allen party? Shush, Be careful. Might be the fuzz. Don't let that get wind of the party. 
by nonsense. Last time cops were around these parts was, say, when was that? 1911, January. Oh, they, they found a body of Herbert Casper. You remember? They found his head, his own bindle. Oh, poor soul. What was he even doing out here in the first place? Why, where else can an old bindle punt go? The old, uh, uh, Hobo Town, just half a mile up the way. Ooh, that's right, the 1913 Hobo Fire. Now you're on a trolley. Well, lots happened around here. Leo, get a look. They're gone. You don't say. Well, we better haste. We don't want to miss this one. It'll be a gale party. Not that far now. There's another pastor up ahead. You'd already walked through one. I have seen enough cow pies in one door. No more pies anymore. Construction. There'll be a hospital up there soon. My God, Millie. Look, look. Who is that? What are they up to? Pardon me. Are you lost? Why? I don't know. They're dressed up. They got corners. Are you on your way to the Allens? They're just... You can join us. Oh, I don't know, Leo. I don't like this. I don't know about this bird either. Maybe they live out here. But maybe they're on their way to the party. Well, that's fine. So, are we expecting Florence Raimi tonight? Oh, no. We might. Nagel is always true. She has the money. She'll want the coin. I never took her for a booze gal, but heavens, I didn't know she liked the bourbon. With that, she'll be tossed. Awesome. It's her husband we gotta watch out for. He's a wet blanket. She'll take the fun out of any part. Well, if he's there, we'll just razz him. So will Charles Allen. He knows who his guests are. We haven't had a touch of the giggle water just yet. Oh, but you remind me, I've been wanting to ask you, how's his barrel house doing? Oh, I shouldn't say, but what can I say? Every time I ask, it tells me to mind my potatoes. He won't even go on about Joseph Kennedy's imports, but he will go on about the candidates. Oh, he must be devastated. He loved Harlem. <sighs> he did. He has hopes for uh, Coolidge, though. But we ought to keep our wits. You know, Charlie's uh, uh, brother will be there with his wife and daughters. They got some good news to spill. News? Oh, I don't know what it could be. Oh dear, have you heard? <laughs> Mr. George Glover stopped by the post office on Monday. Looked to me, he had a handcuff and left the new Tin Lizzie. <laughs> he said hi, by the way. Glover? Did you say Glover? Uh, but he's a dewdropper, and he's dry. What gal could have interest in that fella? And how's he afford a new crate? Leo, you look balled up. See them again? No, but I think they're near. Oh, this isn't right. Millie, we might have to carve her. Wandering pumpkin. No, oh, Leo, I can't do that. I could just drop a dime. This could be some binder or dope peddler. The nearest horn is a mile to Belmont. Millie, let's have us a drink. 
I suppose we'll bring another gift in. Albert's tub? Not your old country Italian wine. <laughs> this is his gin wine. <laughs> Bring some color to those cheeks. Sure is swell. Now, let's just wander a bit more. I don't like the looks of it, but maybe they are off to the party. A bit further, a bit further. Shove on you? The shove we brought for the, the pumpkin carving con contest. Just a moment, dear. Keep them in your gaze. It's Myrtle. I I haven't seen Charlie's niece in so long. What is she doing out here? 
She, I thought she'd be at the party. Her engagement. She turned 15 back in April. Oh, Leo. <laughs> Sorry, it's the giggle water. She's going to get married, isn't she? All the nail us for short for this. You know, suppose... Yeah, just a moment. You, you know, suppose she's going with Glover, do you? My goodness, she is. And he knows nothing of the party. We gave her the bump off. We're bound to get the Nevada gas or the electric cure for this. We better cheese it all. Well, we haven't the time, Leo. We have to get to that party before dark. <laughs> Doesn't seem all that much dark right now. <laughs> Surprise, the storm had just passed. Things are looking up for us. <laughs> oh. Well, we better cover her with branches and grass. She'll be found in a couple days. Myrtle, why, why Glover? He's no good. Well, I suppose we save you from a lifeless worm. Oh, Myrtle, here. You can have my mask. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Why, Mildred, mm -hmm. don't forget the mask. <laughs> Watch where you point that thing, you might hurt someone. <laughs> Don't need to do that again. <laughs> Once is enough. Now, let's make it to that party. Pretty bright before death.